Well, well, first, may, may I just say it's an absolute honour to talk to you. I am a, a little bit fan struck, no. or some other words. So, um, it's no, no, it's please, been please, please. no, no. It's been quite a journey, I think. Um, Parrot, you founded in 1994, and in '95 yeah. you released uh, VoiceMate, which was a personal digital assistant, and then you had Bluetooth products and then 15 years later for some strange reason uh you you produce a drone uh or we didn't really call them drones then they were they were multi-rotors so i think the first thing i really have to ask you is why in 2010 how did you how do we get to to the A ar drone one ah, so i uh, uh i'm a software person you know uh, uh, i um and i i always look to to find places, I mean, uh, tech places where I can do software that have not been done before. You know, I, I try to to, uh, okay. to find nice things I can do uh, uh, with software. So after uh, uh, years in in doing telecoms, uh, in doing uh, those Bluetooth uh, voice recognition system for the cars and selling millions of them. Um, I, at this time, the company was was doing very very well, and um, and I was thinking myself, you know, in in technology nothing lasts. Uh, you have to uh, uh, when you do something, you have always to 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 don't believe that it will be for a lifetime. A lifetime. So uh, I was thinking, what can I do that is new? That works with a cell phone, that use um, uh, uh, the cell phone technology. I mean wireless, and where I can do uh, 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 signal processing, speech processing, or image processing. So my idea, my really first idea, was to do uh, toys or uh, something in between a toy and a video game that use Bluetooth and a camera. And I start doing um, a remote control car with Bluetooth, with a camera, that you can have the video uh, uh, FPV on the car. And I, was, and I did this as a, as a consumer product, you know, something that you can sell for uh, uh, $200 or $300, you know. And I went uh, up to, I, I did the complete product. I spent nearly three years in doing the, the electronics, the software, and it was before the iPhone. So we had no platform to um, to to, uh, to use this device. No, no, no Nokia phone. Uh, mm. So I went to Nokia. I went to to Sony. I went to Nintendo. I showed them what I was doing, and I found no interest. So I tell myself, okay, there is no interest for the Bluetooth car. Let's be crazy. Let's do the Wi-Fi helicopter. So, um, so uh, this is how I I I, I start to look uh, um, into uh, uh, doing something flying with a camera. I've got and, my. Uh, uh, and this was, this was the there's my AR drone too. It is an amazing machine. And now, so the, the, the one came out in 2010 and the two here came out in 2012. You can tell I've written it. But you were very, you were really far ahead with the sensors and technology on it for then. I think we've got to remember, you know, uh, we have got to remember. I've got to try and read quickly. There we are. That the Phantom One arrived in January of 2013 and then the Iris was in September uh 2012 a uh, 14 sorry from from 3dr so you really were ahead of the crowd what took you to such a high specification way back then what why did you land uh, pun intended uh, with such a high spec this is because uh, i'm a software person you know so uh, <laughs> uh, uh, I, I i am and i'm i'm mainly interested in uh, uh, image processing uh, um, uh, 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 and uh, now image processing goes into uh, uh, neural networks and uh, and this kind of stuff. So 
So the reason is because I'm interested in software, but so I, I did the spec like this. The spec of the higher drone was you give the this as a present for the birthday of a kid which is 12 years old. He has never seen an helicopter in his life. He should open the box, um, uh, charge the battery, press the takeoff button, and uh, the drone should take off and stay steady on the... Um, on the uh, 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 um, which is uh, fine, yeah, yeah, yeah. So this was the spec. So uh, uh, we start to at this time the the, um, the sensors we had was were meant done for video cameras by Japanese companies for uh, the image stabilization on the on the VCR cameras. So um, this was the first MEMS and. We understood that uh, you cannot do a, 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 an overing if you don't have a, a, um, a, a way to measure the speed of the device. And this is why we put the vertical camera and the optical flow and uh, the, uh, um, the uh, ultrasonic sensor. So the reason was because the spec was a, a kid of 12 years old should just press take off and the, and the device should uh, um, uh, stay uh, uh, on a very place without moving. It's a very honest, it's a very cool specification because it's a very practical specification. So I love that. Thank you for telling me that. And what sort of one of the things that annoys me, I, I, I tend to say to people that Parrot are kind of the forgotten heroes of the industry. And I don't mean any uh, offense by that, but other people will say, look, DJI have produced this sensor. They've done this, they've done that. And I'll just say, well, no, didn't you ever see the AR1 and the AR2? It was all there years before all of this. Um, some fanboy stuff from me. So in... Um, in uh, so, the, so you, you you had a, a pretty steady product, and then that sort of that drove into the um, Bebop, which came out in 2014, and then the Disco, which I didn't get a Disco, and I'm miffed, and uh, I missed and it, and disco, Chuck, yeah. The Disco was my best drone. I mean, as a, as a drone for fun, the Disco was the best one. Well, why did you stop making it then, man? Hurry up and make some more. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. We we sold all of them. And, you know, in tech, you have to you have to go to the next thing. You know, you have to go to the next. Thing. So, what happened? The story was that uh, we 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 start the drone as a consumer product. I mean, something because when I went to Sony, uh, um, I told them, okay, I want to do this uh, those devices, and um, and they asked me, what will be the price? And I tell them the price will be $500. And they tell me, no, no, no. In consumer electronics, you cannot sell nothing more than $300. We sell the consoles $300 at cost, and we make the money on the game. And we can tell you nothing uh, um, can be sold more than $300. So uh, um, this was the other spec, you know, to do something that you can offer. And they told me at $300, you will not sell any. Right. Uh, 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 it's too expensive. Uh, uh, so uh, 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 this was the, the second uh, uh, part of the spec, and I think we did a very good job because we were on this consumer electronic business and making uh, millions of products. And uh, and uh, um, in fact, what happened? If I can, if I can say the story, there is a parallel story of the drone. Is the story of the GoPro. Yes. Uh, guys, they invent the GoPro, and uh, the GoPro was um, a product done by people who were absolutely not in the camera business, even not in the consumer electronic business, and the specs of the GoPro was fantastic. Uh, I don't know if you remember the mm. GoPro 1, the mm. GoPro 2, it was fantastic, uh, uh, a fantastic product. So, I think... Uh, at this time, the guy, I think, I, I think it's true. Huh? Uh, uh, the guy from GoPro went to DJI, and I think they offered to buy the company. Uh, they asked them to um, uh, develop a drone uh, to carry the GoPro, and 
DJI uh, and uh, GoPro, I know the guys, uh, uh, did not, uh, it was not a match. <laughs> and DJI uh, 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 decided to, to, to do the camera themselves, you know. And this is how they did uh, the first uh, camera copy on the GoPro with the same GoPro chipset, the Umbrella chipset. And I think it was Phantom 2. Yeah. Um, it was. It was Phantom 1 was a simply a drone that can carry a GoPro without a gimbal. And uh, so, so they went in this business. And uh, 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 of course, at Parrot, we understood that uh, that uh, uh, um, uh, uh, this business will be uh, uh, something that we were at this time uh, uh, um, selling uh, 300 dollar products. And uh, um, and this is more or less the story of the drone as I as I uh, uh, the story of the consumer drone as I can tell the the, uh, uh, the beginning. And the disco? Come on, tell me again. Where did that go? Okay, 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 okay. okay, okay. <laughs> Sorry, I should we okay. should be talking about what we're talking about, but I'm, t I'm excited to hear okay. about that now. Okay, I, I I I tell you so. What I did when I saw this. I, um, I tell myself, okay, the drone is much better than a toy. It's even better than a consumer product. I need and I will invest the, the, the cash of the company into drone startups. And I start, uh, I think, eight years ago. Uh, I don't, uh, uh, Cecilia can find you the, the, the exact uh, moment. I start to invest in drone startups and I find the two best uh, drone startups, I, I, I invest maybe in 10 drone startups, but the two best I, in, I, I find was uh, one, uh, two in, in Switzerland, one called X4D, of course. which is uh, uh, the, the, um, uh, the software company, and the other was uh, SenseFly, uh, a flying wing yes. for surveyor. So, uh, uh, and Parrot owns those, those two companies today. And um, uh, um, I, I was with a guy of, uh, of Sunfly, I tell them, okay, it's the flying wing for surveyors is super nice because you can map large areas, but I will make a, um, a, a consumer product with it. And uh, I took the electronics of the uh, Bebop, uh, I put them in a small box that's called Chuck. Chuck, yeah. Uh, the, the pilot. And, uh, and I put Chuck, which is the hardware of the Bebop, the camera of the Bebop, the, um, the Bebop software, into uh, a, a flying wing uh, designed with the same design ideas of uh, um, uh, SenseFly uh, flying wings. And uh, um, as, as a consumer product, it, it was the, the product that had the most uh, fun uh, of uh, uh, of the drone we did at Parrot. Oh, no, it, uh, I'm sorry to have missed it. Um, but again, I don't want to sound like a fanboy. I'm supposed to say negative things now. But you, you guys really have been at, at the front of things. And anybody that pays attention to the industry notices that. Um, so, so congratulations. Look, I'm taking a lot of your valuable time. So may, maybe, maybe... Maybe you want to unpack your new product, or maybe you want to say the okay. future, or maybe I, I can I, ask you some more I, questions. I, I, um, okay. I, so, I, um, I, uh, uh, so in, in part, we had uh, three generations of drones, you know, Aerodrone, Bebop, and Anafi. So Anafi is a true uh, flying camera with very, very good specs, with a... Uh, uh, um, a, a very small footprint with a very good camera with an Umbrella processor. I think it's the most compact um, the flying camera uh, uh, you can get or you can get when it has been launched, I mean, uh, uh, two years ago. 18 months ago, we have been contacted by uh, an organization which is an organization of the US Army called DIU. And those guys, they were asked, telling uh, that they, they were looking for how to reuse the um, technology of consumer drones into um, drones that they can use for their needs 
uh, and drone that 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 cost a fraction of the military drones because uh, when you see the spec of what you can buy at Best Buy for two thousand dollar and uh, the spec is very very close to a military drone that cost maybe um, uh, 20 30 40 mm. times more mm. so um, so the DIU they start uh, uh, a competition with six drone makers uh, five from the US one from Europe Parrot, and uh, to see if we can uh, match their specs uh, adding new features uh, uh, on the um, uh, architecture of the consumer drones. Uh, um, now the competition is not finished. There are only two uh, uh, companies uh, in uh, um, the competition. One is American and the other is Parrot. And we have asked the DIU uh, a few months ago, uh, uh, can we uh, uh, can we market uh, the the the, um, the the product that we are doing uh, for you uh, on the um, on the uh, uh, distribution uh, uh, distribution uh, uh, channel? And they tell us, of course, uh, you can uh, you can market it. You have to remove a few. Uh, uh, a military features, but you can market it. So this is what we are uh, um, uh, showing to. Uh, we are launching now. This is uh, what we are launching now: uh, a drone uh, that uses uh, uh, the technology of consumer drone with a spec of the U.S. Army for uh, the usage of uh, uh, first responder. I mean, what is it, first responder? It is. Uh, uh, firemen, uh, police, uh, uh, and um, also uh, uh, um, uh, surveyors. Uh, so, uh, um, so this is it, you know. Uh, so, uh, <laughs> so, 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 what, so is what is this? <laughs> you didn't tell me your name, sorry, Audrey. Uh, it's too exciting. So, am I right in thinking then that this is going to be made in? in in America, so it's made in America. It was one of the uh, um, of the demand. Uh, uh, so it's manufactured in the in, in the U.S. and um, uh, uh, and it's a, a, a very small drone based on Anafi. If if you have give me if you give me one minute, I will go to find one and I show you one in the camera. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> Too cool. Too cool. <laughs> is where I want the screen to go um, clear so I can read exactly what he's got on his bookshelf, the thing of COVID-19. <laughs> it's funny in this new uh, COVID world, we're getting a, an inside view into all of our work lives and colleagues' um, personal spaces. <laughs> Absolutely, and then spaces that are, are, are being created for that personal space space to be in covid world um, absolutely it's a funny old world hi, isn't it hi so, um, uh, uh, so i show you uh, uh, um, uh, uh, <laughs> it's a kind of anarchy on 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 steroids so you know uh, uh, this is the um, anarchy drone with the uh, um, uh, with the, um, a FLIR gimbal, you know, with a FLIR camera. Is it actually uh, FLIR? This, yes, this one, no. And this is the uh, um, Anafi USA. So it's the same, more or less, but it's bigger, you know. This right. is 300 grams, this is 500 grams. So. Is so is that uh, is that going to be the name Anafi USA? Yes. Okay. So you know. Uh, now, it, shows, uh, it, shows, it tells you what it is. <laughs> yeah, it says what it is. The um, five hundred yeah. grams. That's 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 it's quite chubby and grams, you know? quite quite fat so, in the modern uh, world in the two hundred and fifty gram world. Yes, but uh, you know uh, uh, also because the payload 
is uh, uh, is big, you know. Sure. So, so what you know, a drone. I don't know exactly what is the, the math for this, but you can more or less you can you can think that a drone should weight ten times or even more the the weight of the payload. You know, if you want to carry uh, a, a twenty gram uh, or 10 times or maybe 15 times, you know, if you want to carry a 10 gram camera, you need to do a uh, 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 10 gram gimbal, you know, you need to uh, um, to have a 100 gram uh, a drone. If you have a 20 gram gimbal, uh, you need to have a 200 gram drone, you know. Uh, so this payload is a, 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 um, a payload with three cameras, um, uh, one is a wide angle camera, another is a teleobjective, and the third one is a FLIR camera uh, with um, a VGA resolution. So this gimbal, uh, uh, um, you know, uh, um, uh, permits what it permits you to have a, a zoom which is x 30 times. Maybe Celia can put an image of the zoom. Maybe Celia, you have a video of the zoom, or you can find the. But the zoom is incredible. You can uh, um, you can zoom. You can see details even 10 kilometers away. You know, wow. uh, uh, we have a video uh, when we are at 15 kilometers from Paris, and we see the Eiffel Tower when we zoom on it. Uh, um, um, Celia, tu peux trouver une vidéo ou pas And what size are the what sorry what size are those sensors? What are they the one sensor, inch half inch? The sensors are 21 megapixels for the uh, uh, RGB and um, and uh, I don't know what is the focal length but uh, uh, um, uh, we can find this for you. And uh, I'm excited, so I'm sorry if I'm jumping around. It looks to me like that gimbal can look up. Yes, of course, it, it's an uh, so, so Beautiful, it's yeah. 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 Um, it, can look up, it can look down, you know, uh, and uh, uh, it's two axes, you know. Uh, uh, um, so, and also it carry all the ease of use of powered drones. I mean, um, it has uh, uh, um, a USB-C uh, 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 interface, so you can charge it with any charger. Uh, you um, something that I was surprised that they were very interested is the amount of time needed to start from the the drone off to flying, and uh, we we the time it takes to unfold the drone, uh, uh, turn it on, establish the radio, and take off is 55 seconds. And for them, it was a very uh, uh, interesting uh, uh, feature, you know, to be able to um, to um, to be very immediate in the usage. And what sort of flight? Um, what sort of flight time might we expect from this? Uh, so the flight is uh, is uh, is over 30 minutes. Okay, is that is that parrot thirty minutes or real thirty minutes? No, it's it's a real thirty minutes. <laughs> cool. Uh, I mean, I mean, thirty minutes is uh, is a compute like this is uh, a thirty minutes is a flight time over in uh, indoor. Okay. <laughs> uh, 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 this is how we measure it. It's a bit more. It's maybe thirty two minutes. If you travel at uh, at low speed, like five, four or five meters per second, it's a lot of less if you travel at high speed. Now, it looks to me, is that an antenna I'm seeing in your hand underneath it? What am I seeing coming down uh, from it? Yes, yes, because what I have one is a military version. Oh. So the military version has a, 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 an antenna. Okay, okay, okay. And actually, yeah. USA that we will... Uh, uh, we will provide, do not have this antenna, okay. do not have the military radio. Okay, okay. Uh, and if you want, I can show you, I can show you a, a quick video of the 32 times zoom. 
Certainly, if if you have time, I I don't want to I, I don't want to drill into Henri's time uh, too much. Let me show you a quick. I'll show you a quick video sure. which we'll share with you uh, also on Friday. That's Perfect. Not, we'll share a okay. final one. Yeah. I don't know if you can see. Clearly. I can see. I yeah. A, I can see. So that's um, you can see that it's dangerous sometimes approaching the electrical cable. So with the zoom. For inspect, uh, inspection, it is really good uh, to actually inspect perfectly the details of the electrical cables. And we have many different cases. We'll send you um, ASAP tomorrow or Friday uh, the different cases of the Zoom. Perfect. And does, does this integrate straight in with PIX4D now and their inspection sort of elements? Yes, it is. Yes. There is a, uh, there is a, uh, an integration with Pix for the uh, of all the all the parrot uh, um, uh, uh, features. So where do you see this uh, in the? Unfortunately, I suppose we have to frame everything. Uh, uh, the uh, Phantom Four, for instance, how is its capability compared to that? Okay, so I think you know uh, uh, this drone is more developed. For um, uh, uh, firefighters, uh, police, so the big um, uh, feature that you don't have on the on the Phantom is the zoom. Sure. Uh, uh, the zoom plus the, the, the FLIR camera. So this is uh, uh, um, the, um, uh, uh, the 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 market positioning of the product and uh, the feature. That don't have on other drones uh, uh, um, uh, on the market. You've you've always but been great another, with your. Another sorry. Big issue, another mm -hmm. big issue is also the 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 cyber security of the software. I was I was just going to uh, ask you. I was just going to ask you about that because you've always had great sensors and a great platform, and you haven't quote unquote been made in China. And this is going to sound very rude, but you seem to have been well. You, some manufacturing has happened there, but it's not a Chinese company, and you you seem slow to been very slow to have leveraged that's a rude thing to say i'm sorry but you seem very slow to have leveraged that advantage so is this this is the start of it now is it yes yes uh, we we uh, uh, we uh, we believe you know that uh, it's very important to have a software that uh, you can rely on it so uh, uh, the software has many uh, uh, functions that uh, um, uh, uh, are linked to security. The first one, that is, the software is fully audited and uh, the software uh, uh, do not send any data to any server, any kind, uh, uh, um, if uh, uh, the user don't want it. The second thing is, it is the software is protected to um, um, uh, 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 unwanted uh, uh, download. You cannot change the software on, uh, uh, on the drone um, without uh, having uh, the, uh, um, the uh, uh, signature of, uh, of the software. So uh, when you have it, you can, uh, you can, you can trust on the software. And, uh, um, and also, uh, um, the software has features like uh, encryption of the SD card. I mean, if you, if the drone, uh, if you lose the drone because uh, uh, you lose it on a tree, or uh, 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 if somebody takes the drone, uh, he cannot read the, uh, the SD card. He cannot read the data on the drone without having your own uh, um, uh, security. So. Um, we have made the the, um, the 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 software have made the software uh, 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 robust to uh, cyber security. And I suppose, well, the does how is it to GPS spoofing and things like that? Or are you making use of well, three three ways of seeing the world there with those cameras and other sensors? Oh, and what other sensors does it have for not hitting stuff? 
sorry, sorry. Uh, uh, GPS proofing, there is nothing we can do really, you know. Uh, uh, um, if somebody uh, has the power of uh, uh, the, the drone, uh, the drone, the drone can have a mode working without GPS. Uh, uh, you can you can uh, fly the drone without GPS um, uh, 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 if you want. You can fly the drone indoor, of course. You can fly, uh, um, uh, uh, but. Uh, 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 this is it. You know, if uh, if you have a fake uh, GPS signal, uh, uh, the drone will catch you. It's a, it's a very honest answer, and uh, I suppose it has uh, uh, a controller that goes with it, and a video link, and all that sort of thing. What sort of specifications are we talking there? So, um, okay, so uh, uh, you have. A military controller that it is not what we are presenting, and there is a, 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 um, open uh, controller. So uh, the drone has, um, I think, a very good and very robust uh, Wi-Fi radio, four antennas, uh, with uh, um, uh, I think the best in class. Uh, 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 Wi-Fi in 2 gig and 5 gig uh, um, uh, frequency, and um, the drone is uh, making um, uh, um, a four, uh, uh, 4K video, and uh, the streaming is in. Um, I think is I don't know if the streaming is in 1080p or 720p. Uh, and um, so you have you have Wi-Fi on board, and that immediately made me think of the new specifications for remote ID that are beginning to happen uh, around, well, <laughs> being spoken about around the world. In France, they have a Wi-Fi-based remote ID standard. What will Parrot? How how will you be able to yes, roll out yes. or integrate such things? Yes, yes. So we we support the. Uh, 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 French and future European uh, Wi-Fi remote ID. Okay. So um, uh, uh, it's uh, it's uh, it's supported, and uh, and if you ask me the question, what I believe will be the best solution for um, remote ID for drones, I think the best solution is to uh, um, to not put. Uh, uh, a, a big uh, um, hardware onto the drone. There is no need. It is to have the controller, and the drone uh, is linked to the controller, to have the controller sending the position of the drone to an internet uh, server where uh, drone positions are uh, uh, disclosed uh, by. Uh, by, regul by, by the um, regulation demand. I, uh, I think the American way to do it is uh, uh, technically uh, what is uh, more efficient and the more, I think, uh, 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 versatile system. So then a any unmanned traffic management system that could hear or, or, or take in the data would then be able to to, to put that out as well. So, do you have? You, so it sounds like your your machine is going to be the first machine that will actually be compliant that you can purchase uh, for that, which is fantastic. Uh, and how does it fit in the proposed DRSA rules? Um, off the top of my head, I can't remember them. But uh, is, have you designed it to fit a niche within the DRSA as well, or as the specifications only have come out of the requirement for the US? military um, uh, uh, undertaking. Uh, sorry, sorry, I did not, uh, I did not uh, uh, get the question. Sorry, the, so the specification, the weight and uh, remote ID that has and things like that, does that fit in a particular EASA or European regulatory framework? Or were you only thinking of what you needed to do for the uh, US contract? No, no, no. Uh, we we uh, um, we do some we do some stuff for the U.S. contract, 
and uh, we do uh, uh, some stuff for uh, for um, uh, for the market, you know. So uh, 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 and and we are very much in favor of the remote ID. You know, uh, I believe uh, drones um, uh, used professionally uh, should uh, send their position to a regulatory body. You know, uh, uh, and it's like this: uh, if it's uh, used for uh, a professional reason or for fun, you should not uh, uh, um, uh, have a problem to uh, the position. And this is very important for the drone industry to, uh, but what to understand. The, uh, but what about the position of the operator himself out in the open? Because that's part of the requirement, isn't it? That the, not only the airframe, but the actual operator as well. Is that not going to put people at risk? And uh, you don't have to answer that if you don't want to. Uh, uh, um, I, I don't know. Uh, uh, this is a good question. Uh, uh, I'm not so much a specialist of, uh, um, uh, uh, of this. I, 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 I don't know. You know, the operator itself. Uh, 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 um, I think uh, maybe, maybe the. I, I don't know. You know, I am not the, the guy making the rule. You know. Sorry. I think a rule is needed. You know. So sure. Is the is the rule perfect? Is the rule good? Uh, I am nobody to 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 judge. I think the rule is is needed, and uh, and the rule. Do, uh, and to follow a good rule, you do not need to uh, uh, to put uh, hardware onto the drone like ADSB and this kind of stuff. You know, uh, uh, um, yeah. it doesn't bring nothing. Yeah, uh, 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 it is uh, uh, something that has been done for planes. You know, we are speaking about uh, uh, 500 grams devices that are not planes that uh, that are totally different and. Uh, uh, and it's normal to uh, broadcast their position. Yeah, it's it's certainly a thorny subject, and many people are rushing to solve it, and they're rushing to solve it because they want to make money solving it. Um, but for you as a manufacturer, you have to fit in somewhere, um, and so that's that's fantastic to hear. I'm trying to think what else. I'm very aware that we're over our time. I'm very uh, trying to think what. Um, uh, well, how, how does Parrot see the future of really, it's unmanned data gathering, it's data gathering really, isn't it, it be it one way or another. So is it vehicle, is it ground vehicles, is it flying platforms? What's the next platform after this one or the two after this one? Where do you see the industry going? Uh, 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 you're asking my big secrets, you know. So, uh, <laughs> uh, 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 you know, uh, uh, I... I, I, I I cannot tell you anything. You know. <laughs> uh, so the, Fair the question is, Henry, do you have a big secret? The answer is yes. So, uh, <laughs> then if the question is, what is your big secret? The answer is, uh, no. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> but of course. Yeah, no, it... Um, I think we're moving. The, the, the industry, thankfully, is, is growing up uh, and we're moving into a place where people are, are making and PIX4D especially. I mean, you, you are, it is the company, isn't it, really? Anyone that does this professionally uses PIX4D finished. No, no argument. Um, and uh, you are creating actionable data through lots of devices, cameras on cranes, off of vehicles, this, that, the other. And uh, we're finally growing up and it's becoming useful, not perhaps in the way that venture capital and uh, uh, tech magazines would have you think, but money is being made and it is growing up and working. So I was just trying to fish what the next platform with. Right, see if I can see if I can uh, fish uh, another think, secret. One, one question, one question yeah. is very interesting is, is I think is more speaks for the related and the answer is yes, it's it's super interesting, you know, after um, uh, uh, having uh, done the, um, the photogrammetry for drones, where it was unexpected uh, 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 10 years ago, you know, mm. to, uh, to have a so wide usage of, uh, um, of it, you know, it's super interesting to make photogrammetry more popular, and uh, especially in uh, the construction business. Yes, uh, and and this is why 
Pix 4D uh, has a develop a, a, a product which is more or less a drone without an engine, without a motor that you put on the top of the crane. Yeah. And when you are making a construction, the 3D of the construction is uh, collected day after day, and you can exactly know when. I don't mean stone by stone, but nearly, you know, when it has been uh, um, added to the to the building, and uh, uh, and so you can document very well the construction. Mm. So um, the Pix4D, of course, is uh, focused on drones, but it's also focused in construction. And the next product for Pix4D is to make the data acquisition from the drone, from the crane camera, and from your iPhone or your, your cell phone directly, common on, on the same uh, um, uh, data set management. You, for example, the next Pix4D uh, uh, software is uh, um, uh, permit you to uh, make a 3D with your telephone and to add this 3D with the images you did uh, with the crane camera or with the drone. Yeah, it, 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 well, it has to go that way, doesn't it? It, <laughs> it has to be if, a, a, any camera on the uh, on the uh, on the the building site. You should be able to pull into your your model and make it better and better and better. Um, so why not lidar then? Why 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 aren't we putting a lidar on onto uh, onto the worker's helmet? Okay. So, uh, uh, LiDAR is another story. Um, let's say, on a drone, the LiDAR has some application, but I don't believe that the LiDAR will uh, um, uh, take a big market. Uh, uh, for two reasons. One is the LiDAR, they are expensive and heavy. But the other reason is uh, we have made the measure at PIX4D and the data set we can produce with photogrammetry, I mean the quality of the 3D uh, cloud, uh, uh, is as good with photogrammetry as the, get, the one you get with the LiDAR. So why uh, uh, um, uh, using a LiDAR when you can do the same with a simple camera? Um, so the, the, the cases where you, you can, or you have an interest to use a LiDAR for me is, you know, the case where you have the archaeologist flying the drone over the rainforest and they find the old road of the mm. Maya mm. Um, a civilization in Brazil or they find the, um, uh, the plan of the cities in Cambodia. So this is what you can do with the LiDAR because with the LiDAR you have some beams that go through the, the vegetation, the trees, and you can have what is under the trees, you know, with the, yeah. with the simple yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. Except, except this, you know, except this, the LiDAR is not needed. And there is a big controversy in the car industry, yes. in, uh, uh, in the, you know, uh, uh, autonomous cars, and you have, I mean, more or less the German car makers against Elon Musk, you know, and Elon is against LiDAR. Yes. He say uh, uh, um, everything can be uh, um, uh, uh, done with the camera. It's much yeah. better. You have to solve the problem with the camera. And I am against the German car maker. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Look, I've had four Dushevos, so I, then I must be on your team. Um, <laughs> uh, the uh, what else was I going to ask you? I'm very conscious. I'm very over. My, you're so gracious, give me so much time. You don't. You don't have a very active manufacturer-led community, shall we say? Um, groups and social media stuff. Again, rude. I'm just being rude to you, Henri. I'm just being rude. Yeah, um, yes, yes. You know, I, I am transforming the company from uh, um, consumer to uh, commercial drone. And this, the first step to do it is products, you know? And so uh, um, I think uh, uh, Anafi Thermal that we have shown one year ago and now Anafi USA 
show how good we can be on the commercial drones. And we are transforming the company. We are putting a huge effort into new products. And this is why we do not feel that it is important today to be active on the community okay. until we don't have those new products. But Pix4D and Sensefly are quite uh, active. Yes, <laughs> yes, for sure. Um, and then the really the last thing I wanted to ask you, um, um, now sit comfortably, Skydio, when are you going to buy them? Skydio is a, they are, we are good friends with them. They are a customer of Paros. Uh, 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 we uh, uh, we are doing a, a lot of work together, and uh, um, uh, uh, and I, I, I you know I like very much to see a new startups into the drone uh, uh, business with new ideas and uh, new uh, uh, technologies. Yeah, because I see in my world, I see see you guys uh, over here. They are back in 2010, and now I see them over here. And the other, some other companies in the middle. I just think, yeah, I'm not that excited. It's just iteration of standard things. There's, there's really, they, they haven't done that much exciting. So it's you guys and Skydio have, have done some very exciting things in the last 10 years, and and, and not a lot else. So I just, well, I was trying to fish that out to see if you would, but I. I Am I, so let's just touch back on the drone for a second. What, d does it have collision sensors and things like that? The, the um, Anafi USA? No. Yeah. Anafi USA has a, a, a very good camera, uh, a vertical camera for indoor uh, uh, purpose. And, you know, uh, um, the, uh, um, for the use of... Uh, 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 the U.S. Army and for use, the use of uh, the firemen, the, uh, um, the avoidance is not uh, a, a big need, you know, uh, for many reasons. One is using the drone in a very, very different uh, 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 um, uh, time frame. I mean, they use a lot of the drone by night uh, when uh, the sensor doesn't work. Um, when uh, sure. they are indoor, and yeah. also uh, um, uh, 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 you know they 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 are good pilots, you know. And sure. also I cannot say I cannot say that obstacle avoidance from the Chinese companies works so well. <laughs> okay. Have you put it? Have you put it in the hands of many um, commercial operators, like I don't know, windmill inspection people, roof roof inspections, thermal inspection people? Have you, have have many people had their hands on it and used it and fed back what they thought about it so far? Yes, yes. This is uh, this is uh, we have a, a, a large team of, uh, of beta users and uh, and you know they are. A good camera, you know, a good camera is is, is something fantastic on a, on a drone. You know, a good zoom uh, um, is is something. It's it 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 brings a lot of new uh, usages. Amazing. I well, I'm I'm very. Uh, oh, I, so I know what I haven't asked. How much is it going to cost? Uh, I think we have announced it. Uh, we have announced the price, Cecilia. Yes, it's $7,000. $7,000. And you're going, you're going to receive a press release right after this interview, and you're going to have the details of okay, uh, the cool. pre-sale and where to purchase it. Okay, and, and it's going to happen worldwide, is it? Worldwide. Worldwide. Even more. And so when you come and stay, you'll you'll bring one to show me, so we can try and fly it together here. On a, when when flying eventually happens again. <laughs> okay. <sure. laughs> okay. Thank you very much. No, thank you. Thank you very much indeed. You've been super gracious thank with you. your time, and okay. good luck with it all. You don't need it. Thank you. Thanks very much. Bye. Cheers. Eh? Bye bye. Bye. Bye.